Okay, next. Next up on the chocolate block. Uh, I mentioned this briefly before. Laura Kate Dale was staging a protest against the BBC. Now, the BBC is a prestigious organization, always a respected journalist. What could they have done to piss off Laura Kate Dale? How would be their name? The answer is this article by Carolyn Lowbridge from October 2021. And I mentioned this when it came out because it was called pissing off people. But the article is essentially a letter to the BBC about how, as a lesbian, she felt and she and her friends felt that transbians were pressuring lesbians attracted to women to have sex with men in dresses who still had their dick. And they basically said that, le- that trans beans were super rapey. And the BBC ran this letter because it is a valid concern and something that is not even an unpopular opinion. It's just something that you, you're not allowed to say. And trannies are so fucking mad that the, that the, uh, the feminine penis has been exposed for what it is, that they have organized an in real life protest against the BBC. Which has materialized in uh, Laura Kate Dale posting hundreds of fucking tweets. Because that's what basically amounts to their activism. And uh, there is a nice picture that I featured, but it's not here. Oh, no. Where it's just... It's there. It's like a oh, here it is. It's a small crowd of people outside the BBC and people from London, from that area, people who <laughs> I feel very bad for, said even though it's right next to them, they actually didn't hear anything about this. So it's not a very successful thing. And really, I'm sorry, but look at these fucking people. Look at them. Let me try to describe some of them for people who can only listen. Oh. So I see a couple like trans flags and like lesbian flags. First off, a lot of them are wearing their masks because even when trying to tear apart the system, they can't expose each other to COVID. Uh, half of them have an unnatural hair color. The, the picture centers on someone who looks like, I, I mean, that looks like a woman, but she looks like a British woman. With like really short, like a buzz cut of like grass green hair. There's a lot of like super pink bubblegum hair. And those are obviously not women who have that. Um, They're basically all dumpy. They all look like, uh, take a potato and then let a little bit of mold grow on top. Some, Some real fancy exotic mold, different colors, all... Warning pigmentation, letting you know that this mold will fucking kill you if you put it in your mouth. And they're just standing around holding signs and flags to let the BBC know that they're displeased with being known as rapists. And that's that's base. And they're in front of a very nice building, by the way, which is a bit of a shame uh, because it's in England. But that's basically this protest that was headed by Laura Kate Dale. And by the way, I I happened to find this one accident while uh, flipping around. But cities, this is London. This is outside the this is outside the BBC headquarters. I think you can even see the the street right there. It says L- Longham Street. I, I can't I can't read British, but it's back there in case you want to check it on your own. Turfs don't speak for me, that one sign says. The BBC's bigotry is putting trans folks in danger. And, oh, by the way, this Carolyn lady who wrote this article got, like, super docs and, like, I don't know. <laughs> they definitely tried to intimidate the fuck out of her. Uh, but I found this while looking around. This is August 11th, so the article that pissed them off was October 26th. But on August 11th, BBC wrote on the Newsbeat, Train wedding, the couple who said, I do, on a 125-mile-per-hour train to Birmingham. And look. It's Laura Kate Dale right here. I can't believe it. It seems like Laura Kate Dale was perfectly fine with the BBC. Uh, by the way, th- wow. <laughs> wow. This this picture. <gasps> he has a Jimquisition tattoo. I didn't even notice this. 
This is so magical. He has a Gemquisition ink in logo inked into his skin. The old logo too, when it was still like fashy. Oh, that's fucking awesome. That's great. <laughs> so here they are on a train with a captive audience, I think, being uh, wed, not under God, because God would crash this fucking train in a heartbeat if he was present in this in, in this carriage. Uh, there is literally someone in a, what appears to be a clown wig. I'm, I'm not joking. I guess I'll zoom in on that too. I do not know what to call that hair except a clown wig. There's someone wearing like furry ears and behind them is an actual clown and face paint and a rainbow wig and he's also in attendance of this this wedding this unholy uh matrimony and uh this is yeah this is laura kate dale who protested the bbc featured in the bbc for having this despicable aberration of, of the natural order on a train in front of a clown and look up oh, they're throwing all these all these british people are throwing confetti as they get off the train isn't that just magical isn't isn't the UK just a wonderful magical place? Chat, look at this! Wow, like look at this thing! <laughs> what, what is this? It looks like <laughs> why is its nose so pointy? This looks like a a, a natal woman who is like masculine, and she has like a a comically pointed nose. Just his. <laughs> <laughs> just wait it's so sharp it looks like a uh, a chef's knife like gordon ramsay's about to pick her up and start dicing some onions <laughs> wonderful uh by the way in case you forgot i need to bring this up anytime i mention laura kate dale laura kate dale very infamously made a tweet where uh on the stretcher after surgery they tweet out a picture of themselves with the five o'clock shadow saying i have a vagina just in case we forgot, this is the same person. Uh, I feel <laughs> I feel I have a, a psychological condition where I have to remind everyone that this picture exists and it's one of the funniest fucking things ever posted online. The fact they haven't deleted it uh, is almost more magical to me. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofer. Remember to like and subscribe.